So, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man No Way Home. This movie is going to be insane. It's going to be a full-on Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, multiverse movie. We know that. There's no denying it at this point. And all these different characters from the past Spider-Man franchises are returning. And one of those characters that's rumored is Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin from the very first Spider-Man movie. And... You know, we, we don't really have confirmation of this. No super reliable sources have said it's true, but some sources that have had scoops pan out in the past have said that it's true. And now viewer Annan, who, I mean, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, so just consider this a rumor for now, but they are claiming that Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin is actually the main villain of this movie, which is interesting because we have been hearing all these reports and rumors of all these different villains in here, like... Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, Jamie Foxx's Electro, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Thomas Hayden Church Sandman, and then all the other crazy ones as well. But we never really thought about, like, which one is the main villain? And also, what is causing all of this multiverse stuff? And it's most likely connected to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but what if Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin is the main villain of this movie? I mean, I don't really know how... He would be the one that would like, I don't know if he would be the one that's like causing this multiverse breakage or anything, but he could be the one that maybe forms this multiversal Sinister Six or at least something along those lines. And if it is Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin, then this brings up the same question with Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, because the other day he confirmed that he is playing the same exact version of Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man 2 that is either being resurrected or never died in the first place. So, would this be the same version of Willem Dafoe Green Goblin from the first Spider-Man movie that somehow didn't die, even though it was pretty obvious that he did, or that he's been resurrected, or is this going to be a D Green Goblin from a different universe? I, I think I prefer that just so he can have, like, a better Green Goblin costume. So, I don't know along uh, on those lines, but then there's also rumors that Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin in, th in this movie is going to kill one of the major characters in the Spider-Man cast. So I think that would be really cool. I mean, obviously it'd be sad for whoever dies, but Green Goblin is Spider-Man's arch enemy in the comics. So if he's the one that kills whoever, then that would definitely leave a lasting impact. And also something that a lot of people have been complaining about with the Spider-Man MCU franchise is that there's no stakes. There's no consequences. Well, if somebody dies, then boom, there, there's your consequences right there. And especially if it's by the hands of the Green Goblin, I think that'd be really cool. Even if it is a multiversal version, I do have kind of a problem with that, with it being like, yeah, but it's not even like from this universe or something, but it could set it up for being like, Green Goblin is a threat, and then when we do eventually meet the main MCU version of Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, then Spider-Man already knows that that is going to be his main threat, and he already has a vendetta against him. So, I don't know, guys. We'll have to wait and see what happens here, but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Do you think Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin not only will be in this Spider-Man No Way Home movie, but will he be the main villain? So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.